So how cool is that? Ah! Right, I get it. How cool is what? How cool is that, you soldier? Wow! That's amazing. Look at that, my dude. And do you want another worst thing? What? You forgot the heat shrink. After me oh my god, no, I twice. did. I forgot the heat shrink. Oh! <laughs> All right, take it off. All right, here we go again, boys. So following on from my last video, which was an intro video on the Rush Tiny Tank VTX, I'll now be fitting them onto some of my race quads that I'm going to be using this year. As you can see, I've already taken off the props and now I'm going to be taking off the canopy. I only use this canopy for the Vodafone shoot. Uh, we designed it to hold a GoPro hero so we could actually get HD footage with Lewis Hamilton. And I'm going to be replacing it with this canopy that I used last year and the year before. I actually helped design this one and as you can see it's got the little chicken on the top here. So I gave the input to use both a GoPro mount and a shark fin on the same canopy. Okay so now I'll just be taking off the camera so that we can actually get to fit in the VTX itself. So first of all we're going to be connecting the 5 volt on the ground to the top of the VTX. Uh, as you can see the OSD in the video are already connected and rather than make more solder joints which could be potential failure points, uh, we're just going to leave them there. Okay so I'm just going to use a bit of blue tack here just to keep the VTX steady whilst I just tin these pads here. This VTX is absolutely tiny um i wouldn't say the pads are hard solder you've just got to be careful with them but it does it looks so neat once you've got it i'm just going to tin these wires up and then i'll be connecting them to the top of the vtx well as a lot of people probably know i've been running this same setup with the god mode frame for probably two years now i have been running 4s a lot of people have been saying go to 6s and i do i would like to try it Obviously there's going to be the cost of having to change motors and obviously the batteries as well themselves. So far though the setup has been working great for me. Okay so as you can see that's how I've soldered the black and the red wire onto the top there. It's almost like perpendicular. Uh, let's get onto the other wires. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking the remainder of this wire off the flight controller here and replacing it with the wire that came in the package. I'll never make a good surgeon, mate, at all. Um, my hands just randomly shake, like if you can see it here now. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to be connecting the video, the ground and the 5 volt to the bottom of the flight controller. And I'm just going to have to cut these down a little bit, make them fit properly. Alright, so tinning the bottom bit of this VTX, we need to do the 5 volt, the ground, the VTX and we'll do the data as well. Uh, tin the wires and then we can connect them up. Try to solder it without picking up the soldering iron. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna disown you this time. Please don't, 
I don't think I can cope on my own. Although, in all fairness, there's not many girls who would do this with their pussies. I mean, have you seen the shutter stock photo of the woman holding it like a pencil <laughs> on the end? <laughs> Try that. I was just admiring all my soldering and I've just realised that I <laughs> I forgot to put the heat shrink on so I'm going to have to desolder it all and put the heat shrink over the wires so let's do that now <laughs> oh god this always happens to me I'm such an idiot honestly it was actually some quite nice soldering as well I was quite proud of how neat that turned out but Oh well, hopefully the next batch of solder joints will be okay. <laughs> Alright, so here we go again. Also we'll put the video on here. I'll put the ground on. Oh, I've just, <laughs> I've just clicked at the ground to the data pad right. Let's, let's do that again. We'll put the ground on the ground this time. And then we'll go in and do the 5 volt. As you can see I've just connected this white wire here to the data pad as well. Alright so now the heat shrink is actually on I'm just going to slide this over to the other side so that we can work on these wires here without shrinking it accidentally. And then we're going to just double check that the camera is going to fit in. Alright, so camera's fitted into the canopy. I just need to solder these two white wires together here. And that should be all the wires done. Okay, so all the wires are in the correct places. Nothing's touching. The antennas on so it should be safe to plug in so I'm going to be using this battery and a smoke stopper. Let's plug it in and see. <coughs> Dogs don't bark. Um, yep yeah, everything seems about right. Let me just check my video using the goggles so I just plug these in quickly. Make sure I'm on the right channel. Let's see. Yeah, that seems perfect so far. Okay, so all that I need to do now is go out onto the field and give it a proper proper test and I'll be posting it on my Instagram my thoughts about what it actually looks like whilst flying around. Um, hopefully I will be able to get some practice in before the start of the season. I just need to wait for all this wind and the rain to stop.